In this demonstration, we're going to look at some of the nesting features within ArcCam Insignia. We're going to firstly see that we have vectors created within the model sheet itself. These are or individual, none of them are grouped together. So we're going to open our nesting toolpath. First of all, we're typing our tool diameter. So the actual tool we're using, type in the diameter of it within here. So we're going to use a six millimeter end mill tool. The clearance is the gap between the tool diameter and the next tool. So I'm going to double this up and make this 12. My sheet clearance is the clearance around the edge of my actual sheet itself. I'm going to type in 50 millimeters for this. You can allow a part to be rotated up to one degree step, but for instance, I can have this part to rotate anywhere around itself I wanted to. So I'm going to allow all parts to be rotated by 45 degrees. I can allow parts to be mirrored. So if I'm working out of a material where both sides are reasonably plain so it's a sheet metal but if I'm working out something like a single sided laminate um, bit of material the grains going one way I may not want parts to be allowed to be mirrored over I can allow bigger parts to fit inside smaller parts but that all depends upon the toolpath clearance and your tool diameter guillotine cuts are set up so if you have a lot of panels or you're working with squares or rectangles it will line them together as best as possible so the tool can just zip down one end zip up the other instead of having to run profiles around the edge of each individual square it can do them in very quick cuts where I nest from is where it's the bottom left bottom right top right top left and the direction so whether I nest from left to right or from top to bottom if my model is going to be a sheet so what will happen is at the moment all of these will fit within this one sheet but if I said I wanted 30 of those it may fit over 25 sheets so it'll tell me how many sheets I need of this material I can group inside and outside of vectors I can select group now or I can just use the shortcut of control G to group them. I can create a leftover material vector or material wastage and I can send that to a vector library. If I so choose, I can group the resulting nested vectors together and I can select all of my parts and say I want 12 of all of those or I can say I want six of those as we see number six applies I want nine of those 11 of those and three of those if I just drag a big box around them I can see how many I require of each one if it hasn't got a number then it's only going to nest one of these if I select nest <coughs> it will work its way through and nest them together as close as possible all dependent on my tool diameter and width it's done it out of three sheets of this 4x8 material itself and then what I can do is I can select all of my vectors and I can run a toolpath around these if I require if I just go back a step ungroup these and turn on create leftover vector we'll see a difference in this right hand vector layer page so if I just do all that again so firstly it's created a nesting waste layer <coughs> and if I just close this down turn that off here is our current nested vectors if I turn on our wastage layer you can see it's anything around here is wastage which we can use if I do it in vector 2 again you can see here 
If I turn the original back on, and if I change the color, we'll be able to see this more clearly. Okay, so the nested wastage is anything within the blue area. So the gap between here and here in the middle of this circle. I can bring this material back in at any point I choose. <coughs> so that's a very basic introduction to nesting within ArcCam Insignia.